Hey, welcome back. Today, I want to talk about how to set up reference images in Plasticity. And I'm sure you already know what Plasticity is, which is why you clicked on this video. So I won't go into a lot of detail about what it is or where to find it or any of that stuff. But if you don't know about Plasticity, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to download the trial version and check it out. So I'm going to delete the cube and zoom in a little. And there are two ways to insert images. The first way is to come up here and click this button and choose Import Append. Then browse for the image you want and click Open. Or you can choose multiple images, click Open, and they will all drop in at the same time. But the way I like to insert images is to open up my browser window, select the images I want, and drag and drop them directly into the program. So both options work the same. I just think it's easier and faster to drag and drop them from my browser. So now that I have all my images imported, I can click on them individually and move, rotate, and scale them using these buttons down here. Or you can use the keyboard shortcuts, G for move, R for rotate, and S for scale. So I'm going to hide these two images and work on each image one at a time. To rotate an object, you have several options. If you hold down the control key, you can rotate in five degree increments, which will allow you to snap to the angle you want. Or you can start rotating and then type in the amount you want to rotate. Or you can select an image plane, type X90, and that will rotate the plane around the X axis 90 degrees. And you can also type Y90 or Z90 and rotate around the Y or Z axis. But I don't really like this option because I have to do extra work to figure out which axis I want to rotate around. So I typically stick to one of the first two options. So I'm going to speed this part up while I move and rotate these planes into position. I don't need to scale them since I already set them up in Photoshop. I just need to get them into position. Okay, now the reference planes are set up and I'm going to drop a cylinder in here. And if I move around to the back side, you can see that the images are blocking the view of the model. So to fix that, I'll select all the images and then hit the M key. And that will open up this dialog down here in the corner. And there are a couple options you can adjust. First, I like to lower the opacity so the image becomes somewhat transparent. So I'll enable the Opacity option, which will automatically change the opacity to 0.5, which allows me to see through the image to work on the model while still being able to see enough of the image to use it for reference. But if you want the image to have more opacity, you can adjust it to 0.3 or 0.2 or whatever you like. But if you don't want to see the image from the backside, you can use this culling setting. Right now it's set to double-sided, so you see the image on both sides. But if you set it to front only, the images will become completely transparent from the backside. But there seems to be no change to this image, and that's because I have it rotated 180 degrees. So I would need this image plane to be over on the other end. And now you can see if I spin around, all the images are completely transparent on the back side. So depending on how you want to work, you do have that option to make the images transparent. And now that all the images are set up, I'll select all of them and then hit Control G to group them. Then double click on the group to rename it. And now with the group created, I can lock it so I won't accidentally select and move one of the images while I'm working. And I can also hide the group if I don't need to see it anymore. Okay, so that's about it for reference images in Plasticity. 
If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.